JBN will keep you informed. Three confirmed deaths from H1N1 influenza virus. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Nicole Dawkins Wright, Acting Director of Emergency Disaster Management and Special Services in the Health Ministry, has confirmed that three Jamaicans have died as a result of the H1N1 influenza virus. Dawkins Wright said the deaths were recorded in St. Anne, Kingston and St. Catherine. She further disclosed that there have been 110 suspected cases of influenza since the start of the year. Earlier yesterday afternoon, Dawkins Wright confirmed that the H1N1 virus is in Jamaica, but said that the type present is not the swine flu strain. According to her, the characteristics of the strain are different, but the manifestations or symptoms are the same. The symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, body aches, headaches, chills, and fatigue. H1N1 has been circulating every year in Jamaica since 2009. While there is no difference in the manifestation of the H1N1 virus and the swine flu, it is the strain which makes them different, Dawkins Wright said. She added that the ministry had issued an advisor earlier this year that there was an increase in influenza-like illnesses, predominantly H1N1. However, checks made revealed only an advisory about an increase in influenza cases. Yesterday's disclosure by the health ministry came after broadcaster Alan Magnus reported that his wife, Carlene Kerry Magnus, died last Friday from complications associated with the virus. I have heard of several people dying from it. For Kerry's death, the paper which we got from the hospital stated that's that's what she died from, Magnus said. Medical doctor and opposition spokesman on health, Dr. Dayton Campbell, said that the public should not focus on the slight differences in the strains of the H1N1 virus. H1N1 influenza would still be the group of symptoms. They are still present in the exact same way. What the ministry ought to do is to inform the public that the virus is here. They have the complications and everything, swine flu, H1N1, all of them are covered in the same vaccine, so I don't know what the differentiation they are trying to make. I am not following, Campbell said. Making reference to the minister's advisory, Campbell charged that he did not inform the public of the presence of the virus in the island and the extent of the issue, but rather highlighted general information. The opposition spokesman said that he has been made aware that there are currently patients in the intensive care unit at the University Hospital of the West Indies suffering from the virus, as well as the death that occurred in St. Catherine. This is not something you should be coy about. That is not something you should hide from the population, Campbell said. He emphasized that Jamaicans cannot protect themselves from the virus if they are not informed by the health ministry that it is in the island. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.